the Beretta M9A4. Let's check it out. Guys, I've loved the Beretta 92 ever since I saw it in action on Lethal Weapon. And then the U.S. military adopted the M9 for their sidearm in 1985. Uh, since that time, the Beretta 92 has really been a very popular firearm. It goes against the lines of the John Browning design, comes really inspired by the Walther P38, which was developed in World War II by the Germans. But there have been a lot of transitions, and here we have the M9A4. Uh, this is the pinnacle of the Beretta 90 series. And we're gonna take a look at some of the older models and some of the evolution. But one of the big things about the M9A4 is that it's optics ready, which is a big first for Beretta. Uh, also, with their decocking system, it's an improvement over the M9A3, which I really like. And guys, the shootability of the Beretta is legendary for being very smooth shooting. Uh, being an all metal frame, it gives a whole different smooth feel to it than the polymer frame striker fire pistols. And I want to thank Gun Zone Deals for providing the M9A4 for this review. Uh, they give us a lot of guns to bring to you guys, and we really do appreciate Gun Zone Deals. The Beretta M9A4 is part of the 90 series for Beretta. And at this point, this is the pinnacle for the Beretta 92 series. Uh, there's a lot of innovation that's gone into this that's changed from 1975 when the Beretta 92 was first introduced. It's a 9mm double single action pistol. Uh, it's hammer fired and it has just one of those smooth designs. It has the open slide design, which is very unique, especially in modern pistols. And that led to the Beretta model 1951. Uh, this is a single action pistol. Uh, it has the hill type magazine release and you have eight rounds. Uh, it is a single action pistol. And so that means that when we, if the hammer's back, you can release the hammer, but it does not actuate the hammer if the hammer's in the down position. This is a surplus pistol. It is rough. There are a lot better examples out there. This just happens to be mine. But these are great little, very thin 9mm handguns. And then Beretta stepped it up with the 92 series. Uh, this is a 92S. It is a Italian police trade-in. Got this at Classic Firearms a few years ago. Uh, one of the big things about this one, again, it still has the mag release at the heel, but it does have 15 round mag capacity. And so it gets it up a much higher capacity than the eight rounds. Um, we're going to check to make sure the gun's unloaded. Uh, but this really was where Beretta started producing the 92 that we're still seeing today. Then came the F-Series, which has the frame-mounted magazine release, 15 rounds as well. Uh, and then, check to make sure the gun's unloaded. Open slide design, frame-mounted safety, just like the S model. This particular gun has some Wilson combat upgrades, including the grips. It has the smaller safety on it to make it really close to the frame. Uh, and some other trigger upgrades. But overall, this is the Beretta 92F. The FS, which is now really in current production, uh, became the M9. Then Beretta introduced the M9A3. Uh, there's a lot of upgrades from the original 92F or M9. Uh, one of the big things is the vertex style grip angle. Uh, it makes it a much straighter angle, more like your 1911, and it gets it smaller in your hand. Uh, enhanced texturing here on the back and the front. It has more of a squared off trigger guard. 
Uh, we have an accessory rail, which was also a big change, uh, but we still have the standard decocker and we have night sights on the pistol and that open slide design. Uh, and we're going to be doing some comparison between this and the Beretta M9A4. Then Beretta introduced the 92X. This is an all steel frame pistol. It is heavy. It's made for competitive shooters and a lot of different companies now are introducing all steel frame guns. We'll go ahead and make sure the gun's unloaded. We have 15 rounds. Chamber's empty. Uh, one thing that this does offer is a safety on the frame, which is a change from the slide mounted safety, and you can carry this cocked and locked. And it also has a gas pedal right here to hold down. Uh, it, the slide's been beefed up. It has front slide serrations. Uh, a lot of different changes with these handguns. Uh, the serrations on the back and front strap are also very aggressive, but it's a heavy gun. And now we're back to the Beretta M9A4. Now, one of the things about this handgun compared to the M9A3 is it does have the optics ready version. It does have slide cuts. To be honest, when Nate at Guns on Deals got in touch with me and wanted me to check this out, I just thought it was gonna be an M9A3 with just the optics cuts, but there are some differences. Now here we have the M9A4, we have the M9A3, uh, and there's a lot of similarities. They both have the Vertec uh, grip angle, uh, they both have the squared off trigger guard. They have Picatinny rails on both. They're both double single action. Uh, they're both threaded barrels and they both have night sights. And those are big advantages of either of these pistols. But there are some differences in upgrade with the M9A4. Uh, first off, of course, is the optics cut. That's a big plus. You could get a plate to replace the back sight, but that is really not as good as having that fully solid mount into the slide. Another big change is the grip itself. I mean, this grip is highly textured. It's really thin. Uh, it gives you a good feel to it. With the M9A3, it has texturing and it's nice, but it's not near as aggressive as the M9A4. Also, the back strap has been improved with the texturing and the front strap. And so this is just gonna give you a better feel and more grip to the pistol. Now they both have 18 round magazines uh, and this is a blue steel mag with the base and this is a desert kind of uh, Teflon finish on these mags. To be honest, I like these mags better and I was kind of surprised that Beretta had gone away from this type mag. Very slick finish. Uh, the uh, highly polished is not near as slick as the original M9A3 mags. They also have lanyard loops on both guns. You'll also notice the color is a little different. We have more of a satin kind of light gold, and then here we have more of a golden color. It is satin, but it does give a distinct difference between the two. And of course, obviously with all the different FDE colors, uh, you know, it just, to me, it gives it a very distinct look. I like it. Very similar to the FN Scar rifles. To me, one of the biggest differences, other than the slide cuts on the M9A4, is the decocker. Now on your standard Beretta, you have the decocker. And so when you bring the pistol back and the hammer comes into the rear position and you wanna decock it, you bring your decocker down and it puts it on safe. No action to the trigger. So you have to re-engage your decocker to be able to fire the pistol. And that has always been a bane for me with handling the 92 series. I forget to disengage the safety. Uh, with that, we have on the 94, the G-type safety. Uh, and so this, same thing, bring it back, hammers in the rear position, bring back your decocker, and it pops back into your fire mode. So you can go ahead and pull that trigger. And to me, that is a huge upgrade. You can upgrade your 92 FS series guns with the G-style decocker, but it's an extra expense. And so I really like that on my guns. Uh, one of the things also about the G-Type is it actually protrudes out a little bit. And it's just the way that this is designed. Uh, and you'll notice that it does come out more on the M9A4 than it does the M9A3. Another thing about the safety is that on the M9A3, it kind of sweeps upward. And so if you're pulling back your slide on your standard 92, uh, you can actually hit the decocker inadvertently and set it off and engage it. So with this, it just has it in the up position. Uh, here, it's not as much angled, but if you bring it back, even if you hit the decocker, it's gonna pop back and you're at least gonna have double action and it's gonna be ready to fire. 
Also on the M9A4, uh, the sights have been improved and there is a circle that's more defined around the tritium beads. And so this is just going to give you a little bit better sight picture. And it's a little bit of a different style from the M9A3. It's a little bit more blocky, but it does give you that cocking shelf. I think the 93 has a little better cocking shelf for one-handed reloads. On the M9A4, it says Gallatin, Tennessee, made in the USA. Here on the M9A3, it says made in Italy. I don't know that all the M9A3s are made in Italy, but in this example it is. And again, you do get three 18 round magazines. They do offer 15 rounders for states that are limited and they offer 10 round magazines as well. But all your 92F and above magazines will work in the M9A4. One big change as well with the A4 is that it has an improved trigger reset. Uh, one of the things about the Beretta is that it is double single action. So that means that on the first round, if it's in this position, the hammer's down, I pull the trigger and it fires the handgun. And then the slide goes back and the hammer is in the rear position. So now I have single action. But the reset is really fast. And that's one of the things that Beretta has improved is a very fast reset. And it's a short, crisp break. But when it comes to the trigger pull, it is a very smooth trigger pull, even in double action. It's long, it's heavy, and it's part of your safety. Uh, but then when you get to the single action mode, again, super quick and very nice, very tactile. We've got our Lyman trigger gauge from Brownells. We're going to test the double action trigger pull first. Eight pounds, 11 ounces. It's heavy, it's long, but it's smooth. Single action, four pounds, 8.5 ounces. Also with this series, the locking blocks have been improved and it gives up to 25 to up to 50% more life to the firearm. And so that is a big upgrade as well. Your standard M9s do not have that. They have the original locking block, uh, but it's all parts compatibility. And you can actually insert the new locking block to improve it if you want to get a bit more life out of your frame. And it's an aluminum alloy frame, of course, steel slide, open design. And one of the big things about this open design is it makes it uber reliable. Uh, there's no uh, ejection port coming around and it's not short and it doesn't jam up on your rounds. And so that's one of the reasons why the Beretta has been such a popular firearm because it is very reliable. And especially in desert conditions, uh, you know, sand and debris get in there and this just helps to keep it clean. Mag release is textured, it's enlarged, and you can switch it to the other side. We do have our slide stop right here, uh, and it is not ambidextrous, but it can't be because of the way the mechanisms are. And if you'll notice, when I pull the trigger, you'll see this action move on the outside of the gun. Take down lever right here, and I'll show you how that works when we break it down. And again, we have a three slot Picatinny rail. You have those front cuts right here. Uh, and that's one of the things you can pull this back. It also has the slide serrations. On the M9A3, it does not. 5.1 inch threaded barrel. Here with the slide cuts, uh, it's just a piece that actually fits down into these two notches. And again, when you get your gun, when you register it, they'll send you a free optics mount. One of the big problems though with the Beretta and the optics is this little bar right here. When you pull the trigger, Right at the last second, it pops up, and that's a firing pin block. And so that's one of the reasons why Beretta has not been able to produce a mount into the slide. But it's very short area right here that they can mount it. And so this allows for this to, for the action to move, and then that way you can have a slide plate. You pull the slide back, I mean, it's, it just glides on those rails. And so it allows for a very smooth feeding gun. And the weight, on the M9A4. Two pounds, 0.6 ounces. Big thanks to Fiocchi for sponsoring the ammunition. All made right here in the USA. One of the biggest suppliers of ammunition in the country. It's great to see this stuff back on the shelves. Also, we appreciate Lula Loaders uh, for making mag loads easy. And with these 18 round magazines, that's a big bonus.
And the M9A3, I love that pistol. This is pretty much the same thing, just with optics cut. And of course, you've got to order the optics plate from Beretta. And they send it free, but that's one of the reasons why I haven't gotten one yet. Uh, so I just want to go ahead and take this out and just shoot it. But guys, this is such a soft shooting gun uh, because of the hat a lot of it, but proven design used by the U.S. military since 1985 and of course replaced by the SIG P320 or M17. But this was the gun without the optics cuts that was submitted for the military trials. And obviously they wanted to go another direction, but this still makes this a great option. So smooth to shoot. One thing about Beretta, because it has that open slide design, it does. It just makes it soft. It's very reliable. You don't have to worry about getting uh, shells hung up in the ejection port, and it's riding on those full rails. So just classic and yet updated. Man, that's a sweet option. That's a nice gun to shoot, isn't it? Oh, it's so nice. Actually, the recoil is like really good on this. I I don't know, as far as with a nine, it seems very much more comfortable recoil It's an all metal frame, so it helps with the weight. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. For disassembly, I drop your magazine, check to make sure the gun's unloaded. Right here is a little button, you push it in, and then you bring this lever down. Uh, and that releases the slide stop. And then the slide just comes right off. You don't have to pull the trigger. Uh, we have a recoil spring and guide rod. This is polymer. Uh, a lot of people like the steel. To be honest, polymer has no stress. There's no stress on your guide rod. And so it really doesn't hurt anything and it lessens the weight. Uh, and then we have our barrel. And we've got to take off our thread protector first. It does have a o-ring gasket which really keeps this retained. Now you'll notice that there is a falling block uh, here in your barrel. So we're going to bring it down, pull it out of the slide. As it drops down, it's a falling block system and again uh, takes inspiration from the original P38 from Walther. But barrel, very well done. Internal slide, I mean we have shot this thing so it's dirty. But uh, Beretta always does an awesome job with their machining. Uh, here with the aluminum frame, I mean, it's just beautiful. Definitely a different type system. Now, the rails are here, and they break, and they break. But they're full, and they really help to keep that slide-to-frame fit. Typically, with a polymer frame striker fire pistol, you have very minimal rails on the front and back. But this gives you a little more real estate. For assembly, we're going to drop in our barrel. Recoil spring and guide rod. Uh, one of the things about it is putting in the guide rod, you've got to really kind of watch that loose spring. It's not captive. And then we're going to bring it over our frame, put it in locking position, bring up your takedown lever, and drop the slide. Now you can take your thread protector, return it on. One of the things about uh, the Beretta 92 series, and I'll mention it now, is that with suppressors, when you put it on, there's a lot of gas that kind of comes back, and so it'll actually fog up your red dot sight. And so that's one thing to consider right here. It just comes back, and shooting this outside is a better option than indoors. <laughs> put our magazine in, and we're ready to go. Now, it comes in an ammo box, and it has the, the handgun, two extra magazines, you get your uh, grip module, and you get, of course, your owner's manual. It is in close foam padding. This is a really nice case, very usable. But then you also get uh, the box that it comes in, and it has a target, so you can shoot it. Uh, it does say to remove the contents before you shoot the target, so I think that's probably a wise idea. Well, the retail price on the Beretta M9A4 is $1,199. 
Price on gun zone deals is $898, uh, which is a fantastic price. But to give you a comparison, the Beretta model 92FS runs retails for $709. And so there are a lot of upgraded features to the M9A4. Again, optics ready, Vertec uh, angled grip, improved locking block, improved trigger, has night sights, has the G-type safety on it. Uh, the rails at the front, we have front cocking serrations, more aggressive texturing, threaded barrel. There's a lot of things that really upgrade this pistol. And from a design from 1975, and again served the U.S. military from 1985 to 2017, it is a very proven design. So guys, there's a lot of Berettas to choose from, and this isn't all of them, uh, including the more compact version of the 4.7 inch barrel, uh, but the 92F, the M9, there's so many different choices. But it's great to see a company that's almost 500 years old still producing some really quality firearms. And the M9A4 is the pinnacle. So guys, the Beretta 90 series has evolved from very humble beginnings to a really state-of-the-art firearm with the Beretta M9A4. And guys, if you like Berettas like I do, I mean, this is definitely one that's the top of the food chain for the Beretta series. And again, a big thanks to Gun Zone Deals for providing the M9A4 for this review. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. The 90 series is modern, it comes from a very old thing. This has a, an 18 round, still has the 15. Also, we really appreciate Lula Loaders. <laughs> Sidearm for the barrette for the M9 barrette. And then we're gonna pull off our barrel. Now, one of the things about this barrel system is that it's locked in here, I can't get it out. Take it more from the Walther P38 back in World War II. Uh, what am I doing?